Hi guys, it's me Morgan. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, again, I'm in my bedroom. I have house guests still. Um, I did a thing. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't judge my hair when I get haircuts for about a week or so. And it's only been two days, so we'll see. But... I'm going to be kind of moving around a lot, and I apologize, but I'm standing. Um, my ring light that I usually put my phone on broke. So I had to go get my car um, stand, and it is actually suction cupped to my mirror in my bedroom. So, and for whatever reason, when I stand, I move around. So I do apologize, but let's just hop on in and get right to this. First... I'm going to do Health and Beauty, which is a pretty small group, but I found this Hard Candy Blooming Lip Oil in 1257 Black Rose. There's that. So, I'm going to try this bad boy on because I don't have anything on my lips. And I've been wanting to really see what it looked like, to be honest. So, this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Alright. Oh, look. Mm. Mm. It's not so much oily as it is greasy. Um, not a fan. And it kind of goes everywhere. So, we're just going to have to deal with this hot mess on my lips for the rest of this video. Let's see what this says. Ultra shiny. It's crazy. Crazy. Uh, 10 plus essential oils that penetrate beneath the surface to repair and heal. It says it heals, hydrates, and quenches dry, chapped lips for up to 8 hours. Good lord, I hope this doesn't last that long because I do not like the way it feels. Transforms from black to a pink tint lip color. So, maybe it'll lighten up. I hope so. Anyway, next I just picked up this April Bath and Shower Aromatherapy Slumber Body Wash and Foaming Wash. Um, this is a 14 fluid ounce bottle. And I actually use this as a bubble bath. And it smells so good. Like, I really like it. So this is a repurchase for me. Alright. Next up, I have Frozen 2 Tin Press-On Nails. With these pretty little designs on them. I love this one right here. That one's really pretty. So this is what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure somewhere in one of these bags I'm going to find an LOL one. Um, but I can't seem to find it right now. So if we could stumble upon that along our way, so be it. But I put these to put in um, Miss Abby's birthday bag. So. The next up is... three bracelets. I've never seen these before, so I was pretty excited. Um, they're in that fun aisle or whatever, but they're just bracelets. You get this really pretty purple bead looking one. This one, I like this one. Some pinks and blues and oranges. And then this one with 
the yellows and the pinks and whites. And these were the only three I found. But I bought these to put in Miss Abby's birthday bag as well. Next up, I have this bath time bubble book, Sesame Street, Family and Friends. It's just a little squishy soft book. Um, I actually bought it for baby Kennedy. She was born on Tuesday the 16th at 6.41 p.m. She graced the world with her presence. So, I bought that for her Easter bag. She won't really know what's going on because she's an infant, but I couldn't get the her kids, her sisters and brother, something and not her. Pfft, no. Anyway, next I have one item in stationery, and it's just this teal notebook, but the spirals on it's right here. It has this. You just flip it open. It is a hard plastic, so I like that. Um, it'll be nice to put in my purse so I can take notes when I need to make a little list and when I'm out somewhere. And it is a product of Jot. Next. There really isn't much of an order right now, is there? Oh well. I picked up, and I've seen these before, and I've seen people hauling before, and I never did it, but I decided... I wanted, this was before I cut my hair, so, I wanted a beige hat. So, and it has this, which I, I like hats that have these. And this is not a Greenbrier product. It is made by Anvil. But I want to put something up here like Mom Life or something. But it's just... A beige hat. So, and I just bought one. They had navy and some other colors, but that's the one I chose. I'll throw it back there. Next, we're going to go to the floral section. And I picked up two of these metal vases with rope. Now, they have these quite often. Um, but when I wanted them, they didn't have them because I wanted to put the little Dollar Tree trees in them. Instead of them on my front porch with some lights for Christmas, just a little extra. But they didn't have one. So I went ahead and picked them up so I can have them next year, which I know it's a long way away. But you can never be too prepared, right? So, and they have these in skinnier ones. They were skinnier and taller. But I chose these. And they're just little metal tins. And I found some new ribbon. Well, new to me. Um, it is nine feet. It is wire burlap ribbon. And it is from Floral Garden. First, we have this gorgeous burlap and red. That's what that looks like. A black and burlap chevron. And then this white and burlap chevron. Sorry about the glare, guys. They all are, all are nine feet. Then I found this red and burlap polka dot. Black and burlap polka dot. Whoop. This way. And then this, what you do, white and burlap. I love burlap ribbon. You can do so much with it. It's so versatile. Um, I really, I really like it. And then I've picked up just a wreath ring. It is one of the bigger ones. So, picked it up because I'm going to make it easier brief, which I'll get to that in a minute. Oh. 
it right there. All right. Try to keep walking off camera. I got to stretch. Next up is St. Patrick's Day. I just have a few things for that. First off, I have this little hat. Sparkly. It has little shamrocks. Purchased this because I was thinking to sit it on top of my tear tray. Thought it'd be kind of cute as like a topper for it. I don't know though. And they had one that had like spelled out the word luck too. But I liked this one. And then I picked up this Irish Wishes and Shamrock Kisses. I, I may have already had this. I don't know. But if I do, I'll just put it in a different room. It'll be fine. And they do have the hook so you can hang them. Or you can set them up. I'll probably put mine in my tear tray. Next is a couple of food items. I picked up this Laffy Taffy, but it is all banana, and I love the bananas. They're my favorite. So, I had to pick that up as soon as I seen it. Plus, it's the only one no one will steal from me. I picked up two of the four packs of the Hello Panda and the chocolate. They are two ounce bags. I usually buy these from Five Below, but when Dollar Tree has them, I tend to snatch them up there too because my husband loves them. Next, I have a couple of jars and a glass. I picked up two of these jars. Nothing fancy. But the lid, whoop, the lid is plastic and screws on. So, I'm going to label these with something and put them on my page to sell. And then this wine glass, tumbler glass, whatever you call these things. Um, I love clear plain glasses. I can do so much. Make it my own. So, I mean, Dollar Tree is always great fun for those. Next up is the long part, and it is spring, summer, Easter decor and stuff. Decorations. Everything. I don't know. Anyway, first up, I'm so excited. Look, look at them, look at them. Look at these little nuns. Look how darling they are. Came in pink, green, and this pretty blue. Now, I bought six of these. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to put, I'm going to spell the word Easter, you know, E A S T E R, and put them in the bottom of my tear tray. But look, they are porcelain, ceramic, ceramic, not porcelain, I'm sorry. Look how stinking cute he is. Look at that little nose and his beard. I'm going to give you one good close look at all of them. One more time. Because look at that. Gnomes. Now, these were with the um, fairy garden stuff. But they were on the very, very bottom shelf. So, I was excited to find them. I picked up another six pack of these plastic speckled eggs. I just, I think they're so pretty. That's all there is to it. I just think they're pretty. Next. I picked up some stuffed animals. Um, and I'll show you why at the same time.
these little things. I'll show you one in one in a time. But then they got these, and I'll show these in a minute. But you put them in there. You can put Happy Easter, someone's name, personalize it. It's going to be cute. But anyway, I picked up this little cute fella with this little carrot. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Then I picked up this little fella with his floppy ears. That's why I liked him. He has floppy ears. I'm a fan of the floppy ear bunnies, but he's a really pretty color. Oops. Then I picked up this cute little duck. He's so cute. Get your feathers under control there, duck. But look how sparkly his little feet are. Aren't they cute? Next is this precious little lamb with his tulip. Look how cute he is. Just, you know, this is all from the Fuzzy Friends collections. Picked up this cute little blue floppy ear bunny. He's just plain blue with a sheer ribbon. And these two are my favorite. Look at this. Look at the purple, blues, pink. He's very, like, almost tie-dye. And then you have this one. What? Look how cute he is. Oh, they're so cute. And they're so soft. Like, they are super soft. And then this sweet little bunny that's sitting... But look at his bow. It is black and white buffalo. Look how sweet he is and his ears stick out. To go along with those, I picked up these. It comes in a blue. Let me show you. Well, I was going to show you, but it's not meant to cooperate with me here. There we go. Alright. So these are just little containers that go together. And you fill them with whatever you want. This one has the bunnies on the side. But look how cute this is going to be. Just pick this one just to be that way. Look. Then you put Happy Easter or Some Bunny Loves You or personalize it with a name. Super cute. So there's that one. Then you have the pink and it has little baby chickies. You see them? Then it has purple, then it has the eggs, then you have the green with just the little flower design on the side. So I thought those were a great buy. You can do a lot of different things with those. So I picked up a four pack of bubble sticks. I'm going to put these in my friend's the kid's Easter basket. You get a blue, a green, a purple, and a pink, a bunny. A basket with eggs, baby chick, and a baby chick in a basket. You can't go wrong with bubbles and kids. You just can't. I thought that one was empty, but it's not. It's just shooken up a lot. I was going to be a little upset. Oh, look. I did buy the LOL nails. There they are. I found them. I found them. Look how pretty those are. She's going to love them. also picked up these Whack-A-Pack balloons. It is a four-pack to put in my friend's kids' Easter baskets. I picked up this sweet little pink Easter basket for baby Kennedy because she doesn't need a whole lot. And then for Abby and Kenzie, I picked up these. Look at this. 
this pretty tealish aqua color. I don't really know what color you call this, but it's really pretty. With a pink bow. And then this really pretty purpley pink fuchsia color with that bluish bow. I love these. Now I have some signs. And I love both of these signs. Look at the truck. I love how antique it looks. It says this is like a foam that sticks out. It says, hello, spring. Come on, spring. We're waiting on you. But then, they went and done this. Welcome summer. Look at the sunflower. This pops out. And look at this truck with the sunflowers. I love it so much. I'm ready for warm weather. Hello, spring. With the truck. And this pops out. It's a cutout. And all these little glittered flowers. And look at that bird. Isn't that bird gorgeous? You have a butterfly. Like this just screams. Spring. I like it. Mm -hmm. I do. These two Easter signs are, I couldn't believe these are a dollar. I feel like I would be able to find these at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, somewhere like that. Look at that. This is Fresh Carrots, Cottontail Farm, Berry Farmhouse, and then this one. Cottontail Company Egg Farm. Look at those eggs. Aren't they cute? Then we have this rustic looking bunny. Look at him with his little burlap bow and his cute little nose that does stick out. I just look like I picked his nose. That was weird. Then it says Happy Easter. I love him. Pretty color purple with the sparkles. I will most definitely be hairspraying him because fallout is a thing on him. But look how cute he is holding his little chocolate bunny. So cute. Look at the bunny butt in the truck. With its sparkly wheels and it says happy easter dollar tree is killing it with signs this year i actually have no idea where i'm gonna hang all these at but i know i had to have each and every one of them next i found this six foot carrot rope garland it's the twine carrots but it's on a garland i just thought it's super cute you can do so many diys with this right now it's tangled so many I didn't find these for Christmas, but I found them for Easter, and I was so excited. The hand soaps. Look at the little chicky. And then look at the bunny. Let's see what they smell like. That one smells good. That one just smells like flowers, like I was going to say. Sunshine floral scent. It smells all right. But this one, this one is carrot cupcake. I don't know about the carrot part, but it smells like cupcakes. So, super excited. I looked everywhere for the Christmas ones and couldn't find them. Last bag, guys. I'm going to make it quick. 
picked up two of the Palmer Spring Time Snack Mix. We have the chocolates and the pretzels. We are a 3.5 ounce bag and are good until March of 2022. So you got some time on those. Next, I picked up three packs of these four packs of the bunny picks. You get a purple, a blue, and a pink. Three, four. I picked up four packs of these little foam eggs that have the little ribbon hooks. You get 12 in each. I'm going to use these as a filler for my tear tray. I got, look at all the blue, the pink, yellow, orange, purple, green. Just everything that says spring and Easter. Picked up some mesh for that reef. Get this. This one has blue. This one doesn't. And they are five yards each. And then I picked up just these plain white, purple, pink, and blue. They are all five yards. And they have like the Tinsel. That's what I want to say. A little bit of tinsel looking stuff in it. And then at a different store, I found these. They're these are three yards. Yellow, purple, pink, and blue. But they have like the foam ball things in them. But these are three yards. And this one is five yards. I picked up some ribbon, three yards. This really pretty purple. And then this burlapy one that has the bunnies and says Happy Easter and the eggs. I just really liked it. And this one is three yards as well. I picked up this little sign. It says, this chick's ready for Easter. How cute is that little chick? It does have the hook on it. So you can hang it or sit it. Dollar Tree always makes it. Does well with those. I picked up four packs of these two packs of these treat sacks. Look at the ears. How adorable. They're just little treat sacks. Um, I'm planning on personalizing them. Maybe put Happy Easter on the ear or something. And then I picked up three packs of the four piece. These are also treat sacks, but these have a twine rope that you tie up the ears. And I'm going to personalize these as well. So, again, Dollar Tree is stepping up their holiday game. I love everything I found for Easter so far. I'm, they're hitting it out of the park so far. Um, and that is it for this haul, guys. I appreciate you hanging around and watching it with me. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate them. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I welcome all of you. I love each and every one of you all. Um, I enjoy making these videos for you all. I know mine are hit and miss sometimes. I'm still working out the kinks. But I do appreciate your views and your likes and your comments. I love to interact with you all. Um, and if you like this stuff, uh, go follow me on Instagram. It is Cozy with Morgan and the number two. Uh, you'll see when I make these, personalize these, um, you'll see my finished product wreath. You'll see my Easter tear tray, my St. Patrick's tear tray, um, all that kind of stuff. I post all kinds of Dollar Tree good finds and DIYs on that page. So that is Cozy with Morgan 2 on Instagram. Um, 
And that is it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and thanks for hanging with me. Bye.